Hey everybody, my name is Lindsay McHale. I am a professional dancer and choreographer, and today I'm actually going to be watching for the very first time ever BTS. Um, I've actually never seen them perform before. I've never listened to their music, and I've heard of them. I know that they're really famous, so shame on me for not actually like watching them until now, but my friend Blake McLean, um, Blake, he's actually here. It. Yep, uh, he put me. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. I, I think so. Okay, cool. Yep, you're in the shot. If not, he really was there, I promise. But yeah, so he put me up to the challenge and he just kind of wanted to hear my thoughts behind it. And I'm really excited because, yeah, this is going to be my first K pop video. So let's check it out, see Plus, what happens. Just a side note, she's a crazy good dancer. So <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I've been dancing most of my life. So if I'm not good by now, I need to, you know, kind of reevaluate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let's do this with love. Let's go. This is them live from Hong Kong. My scene was not specifically this okay. event, but consisted of having shaken I mean, this is definitely... Okay, so one thing I have to say already, like right off the bat, this is definitely a way to get people's attention. I mean, dude is coming out hanging from a ceiling. <laughs> like some upside down shit that definitely is aerialistic. It's kind of cool, has a different visual. I love the fact that he's already like flying over the crowd. I think that's like a really good way to kind of like a capture people's attention right away. And it's kind of like this poetic -y, justice looking like situation. Feathers are everywhere. He looks like a a, a dead bird kind of hanging in the way, but it's really dope. I like it. It's a very uh, dramatic entrance, and so that's really good. Gets people's attention like right away. So, all right, let's keep going. If the devil helped me in his clutches, the enemy was behind so me. I like the white socks with the black shoes. I can't help but think of Michael Jackson. Actually, speaking of that, I'm sorry, I like to talk a lot, but speaking of that, I don't know if a lot of people know this. The reason Michael Jackson actually wore the white socks with the black pants and the black shoes is because it's a really smart thing to do when you're on stage. So this is something coming from like a creative director or obviously Michael himself probably thought of it because he's genius, but it creates separation from his pants to his shoes. And that way when he was doing the moonwalk and when he was dancing and he was gliding, you know, it had that sense of separation there. So people could really like pay attention to his feet and how like sick the moves were and it created that illusion a little bit um instead of just having all black he also did the same thing with the um his fingers being taped you know he knew when he hit like certain things the light would reflect off of it and it would capture people's attentions to kind of look that way so very smart and he's doing the same thing here he has the black pants with the white socks and black shoes so go ahead Let's keep going. so freaking dramatic dude i can't Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna turn this side. I need to turn it off a little bit. I'm sorry, I like it. Okay. Uh, hey, look at that. I like that. Hey, look at that. Super fly, like I'm loving the pink hair. So sick. He was hitting that shit so hard though. Yes. Okay, blindfolded, a little bit of popping in there, some smooth stuff. It's kind of sexy. It's like dark. Some 50 shades of gray shit going on. Get it. Oh man, so that turn right there, that was amazing. I love the technique. It was like a back attitude turn and uh, he like, you know, unwound out of it. So that was like super sick, super smooth. Go ahead. They're all freaking like really good dancers so far. I'm trying to see like who is like the JT of the BTS. So. I think they all are. They're all freaking sick. Get it. Oh. Get it. So like right there, that was so sick. They're going into some more, um, like right now, I love it. They just went from like that ticking, tick, 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 and then the beat drops, boom, and it has kind of like that EDM feel. I love it because they're about to kill this freaking dance. Let's get it. And also, they were really, I love their intricacy. Um, they're really great at popping, and they're really good at kind of like those isolation movements, which is making it super sick because he hit every like, bah, 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 he, like through his body, cut, 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 cut. 
which is really hard to do and then also be singing at the same time. So let's get it. They're super insane. Oh shit, that was sick. Okay. Like Tetris. Like blue versus red. Okay. A little bit of break dancing. Blindfolds coming off. Okay. Dudes kind of fly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've never been into like Asian guys, but dudes kind of fine, dude. <laughs> like, get it. And they're so clean. Like in that moment when they were kind of like battling each other, you saw like the red and the blue and they're going back and forth and they actually came together and started dancing. What's really cool about them is they're both equally as strong. And I think that's really important when it comes to being in a group. Um, they're both like super dynamic and super strong. So like right now they're like definitely equal and I love that. Lighting plays such a big role in all of this. Oh, yep. Okay. There's so many of them. <laughs> That's really hard to do is get so many people to be like one on stage. So. They're like freaking beautiful too. How am I just now like watching this for the first time? First of all, I must have been hiding under a fucking rock because these guys are insane. Um, they're so freaking adorable. I just want to like be their friend. All right, we need to be friends. Get it. I like that he's live. You know, I think what I like about this is like, so a lot of times when you're watching an artist, they have backup dancers. And it's like, there's not just one star, like they're all equally as sick. You know, they have their, their moments of like sounding different and looking different. They all have like their unique style, but when they're dancing, they're really getting together as a group and just kind of killing it. Um, I love, I love the vibe. Yeah. K-pop. Definitely. Let's get it. It's very like Michael Jackson in a way, like some of their clothing is really dope. Ooh, that was sick. One of the things that I'm going to say, like, right there, they just did this, like, whole, like, room, and the, the rain came down. There's, like, this spin movement. I really like that because they went from dancing really quick and then all of a sudden just changing up the tempo. And that's a really good eye capture for people. Um, it's kind of like when you're doing music as well or, and you're listening to a song and there's, like, the climax and all these things. So that was – you want to do the same thing when you're dancing as well. You're going to have moments where the, the dance is, like, really crazy, insane, and then you kind of ride it out and then you keep peaking and stuff like that. So I love that they're not dropping the energy on the slower parts, which is something that is – uh, a lot of the things that dancers have to be cautious about is like when you start to slow down, you can't let your energy drop, which is, I don't know if that even makes sense for people that don't dance, but you know what I'm saying? Like you, even though they're singing in their slow motion, like they still have to be hyped to get this crowd moving. And, and I love that they're doing that. <laughs> their lines are really clean. I love the background. Get it. Oh, that was flat. So I feel like, okay, so there's two, four, six, there's seven of them. 
seven, right? In BTS. I don't think unless you're in the dance world and you've been on stage and you've been rehearsing, like, I don't think people really understand like how hard it is to get seven different individuals to look like one person on stage but yet be different all at the same time, right? Like, so they all are killing the same dance move, but they kind of have like their own little take to it. And it's not so different where they like don't fit in and blend in as a group, but it's just enough different to have like their own unique to it if that makes any sense so like they obviously are going to move the moves differently because their bodies are built differently but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time to get everyone in sync like that and I can just imagine like the hours of fucking rehearsals that they're doing for this and they look super fly I love it let's go oh that that was sick yes okay I love the background, it really adds to everything. A lot of energy right now. And I'm telling you what, they're probably in their head like, I'm fucking exhausted right now, like breathe. Breathing is such an important thing. Like seriously, especially dancing this long, you have to maintain that energy. It's like when you're training for a triathlon or a marathon, like you can't put all of your energy in the beginning and then all of a sudden you're like, the end of the song is coming, you're like, I can't even get through it. So I love that they're consistent. Keep it up. They're like super fly. I feel like they're sexy and they they know it. Look at this. Okay. I can see how like all the girls are like, damn, they so fine. Like, so that's okay. This is like the number one lesson like in life. Confidence is everything. These dudes like they're they're giving you the personification that they know they're fucking fly. You know what I'm saying? Like they know they're bad. They know that they're sexy. And that's really something that as a performer, you have to be able to connect with your audience, right? So there's a difference between being like perfect and trained and your technique is insane and you're amazing, but there's like this, this wall, right? There's like this veil that you don't allow people to like vulnerable, like see you vulnerable and you don't let them come in. One of the main things as a performer, and I think that they're doing a great job is, is like whatever their persona is, whatever they're doing, they're really feeling that. And you can feel that from them in there. And that's, what's going to make a great performance is the fact that you feel like I feel what they're feeling. They're, they're projecting that. So if they're crying that you want to feel sad with them. So that's really cool that they're connecting with the crowd that way. And they're putting off that vibe. Like, yeah, bitch, like I'm fine. Mm, You got to have like that confidence. There's such a difference from like, "Mm." Yeah, I'm not really feeling myself to like, oh, yeah, like I got that, you know, so they're I love their jackets, though. That's like super sick. It's almost like a little bit of like reggaeton with it, but like, get it. A lot of high energy in their dance, right? I feel like they keep it intricate, but they have moments of keeping it simple so people can so people can like learn that dance, you know, and like do it with them when they're in the concert, you know. That's what we want. Okay. Is that it? I want more. That was so good. First of all, the ending pose, super sick. I'm sorry. No matter what, it's a silhouette. It looks like very MJ-ish. Obviously, if you can't understand by now, I'm a huge MJ fan. As in, I'm sure all of these artists that are out here doing this dancing, because he's played such a pivotal role in every single one of our lives. So, and um, creativity. So, man, I want to go see them in concert. They're like insane. I love it. The freaking future of fucking boy bands. Why didn't we have this when I was growing up? I love it. They are so fine. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, If you'd like me to actually um, check out some other videos and you would love to see a blind reaction on some of your favorite artists and some of your favorite videos or dance routines, please, please hit me up on my channel and let me know. See you guys soon. Peace.